So what does becoming the value chain actually mean? So becoming the value chain means moving beyond what traditionally was the role of the agricultural merchant trader, where historically we've been involved perhaps in certain parts of the value chain, maybe originating, maybe logistics, maybe distribution, to becoming fully vertically integrated from the producer to the consumer in every aspect of the value chain. Why the transformation? Partly because it's very clear to us that the role of the intermediary in the commodity value chain has changed. Increasingly, the producer and the consumer are inexorably linked. We see that consumers, for example, increasingly demand traceability, food safety, food security, and above all, sustainability in their value chain supply. We need to respond to that by vertically integrating. We also see the opportunity, as historically more originators, to diversify our business into more significant downstream value-added participation in the value chain. So how are you making the transformation happen? So it's very clear to us there are a number of key pillars to making this transformative change happen. The first is to recognise that our core business remains being an agricultural commodity merchant, moving goods from producer to consumer as a trader. And that means having the right people in the right locations, with the right geographic footprint, with the right technological tools at their disposal to ensure we maintain that edge in commodity trading. The second would be to recognise the need to vertically integrate, to move our business where it was historically quite origination orientated, closer to the consumer. It gives us a third opportunity, which is to add value through either entering new markets or new geographies, or through going increasingly into branded product, value-added downstream product. And the fourth is the very, very clear need to embrace innovation in the food sector, in the logistics sector, in the analytics sector, the research sector, and bring those to bear across every of the other three pillars of our business. Well, how's the transformation going? So it's a journey. It's a journey which was started a few years ago. We've had participation in various parts of the value chain over time. But we've recently, for example, begun to produce high quality aqua feed in China, in Tianjin, in partnership with Guangdong Hyde Group. We recently signed an agreement with Luckin Coffee to develop roasted and ground coffee capacity for the increasing consumer base that's growing within China. 2051 is such a big year for your company, 200 years since it was founded. But what will it look like then, do you think? By 2051, we will be a fully integrated food, feed, fibre and ingredients company. We will be fully participant in the massive challenge of feeding, clothing, a growing global population, of fully participating in the value chain from the producer to the consumer. Our corporate purpose of creating fair, sustainable value for current and most importantly future generations remains as important today as it will be in 2051. And how do you feel about that? You talk about challenge, but is it exciting as well? I think it's, it's immensely exciting. You know, we sit here as a, a, in a unique point in our industry's evolution and the challenges of adapting to and adopting new practices for the future are, are genuinely invigorating.